Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am uh, at Keith Bird Legacy Park today in Meridian, Idaho. It's a Saturday and it's a beautiful day. It was too nice of a day not to go out and fly. Uh, my original intention had been to go out on the Boise River and see if I could get some uh, pictures of the, uh, the leaves, the fall leaves changing and so forth. But some of the areas that I wanted to go, there was some construction and stuff. So, you know what? I hadn't been out here to Keith Bird Legacy Park in a long time. So I thought I'd come out here. The other motivation today is, uh, you know, anybody that watches my channel sees some of the, I'm going to try and think of the right word, uh, some of the other drones that I fly that uh, may not be uh, as desirable as uh, the DJI Air 2S. Uh, the Air 2S is just, well, I'm going to say it is by far the best drone that I have ever owned. And that even includes, that's a pretty lofty statement because that includes like the Skydio 2 and like the, uh, the, the Mavic 2 Zoom that I previously had. Really like this guy. One inch sensor just flies so well and so precisely. So what is there of interest here at Keith Bird Park? Well, there it's been a while since I've flown out here and uh, I've what I've shown is some of the construction uh, that's gone on here recently some of these places that were just open fields that I used to fly over uh, within the last year or two have become completely developed so we can I can show you the park here and then I can show you some of the progress of what's going on and we'll just mess around we're just gonna have fun flying the uh, Air 2S, we might try out some of the uh, some of the tricks that this drone can do, uh, but mostly we just, I just want to show you the quality footage, the uh, the very stabilized video that this drone can provide, high quality stabilized video that this drone can provide, and uh, and what a, a nice product that it is. So uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I've got everything fired up. The drone is showing ready to fly. I'm going to go back and check real quick because I, yeah, there is some firmware available and it's bringing something else up here. Uh, so yeah, it's telling me that, wow, we just had a kid scream. I'm sure you heard that over at the park. So it's telling me that it wants a firmware update. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, this just says optimized flight safety. So Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, that took uh, several minutes for that to install. So it just set it up, op optimized flight safety. So uh, we'll see uh, We'll see what's going on there. Uh, in any case, let's hit uh, go fly and uh, let's look at the safety menu. And I want obstacle avoidance uh, uh, on bypass. So that is on uh, and uh, we are not going to disable sideways flight, 30 meter return to home. I'm going to move that up just a little bit higher. 35 is good. Uh, and you notice I have the max altitude set just a, a, a few meters below, below max legal. 120 meters is max legal. So I always set it just a few minute, meters below that. Uh, and then we are in a, uh, in uh, just in below class air space space here so we can go up to 700 feet where we're at right now uh, and uh, yeah it says the compass is normal the IMU is normal we can take a quick look at the battery uh, yeah I mean it's a little bit uh, you can see those batteries are about even so we're good to go there we did use up some battery power uh, doing that firmware update yeah we're down to 90 percent but uh, we're not going on a super long flight today, so uh, let's see. So we are in auto with regard to the camera, and we're in 4K30. That's where I want to be. That way we can zoom and so forth if we want to. Let's uh, let's go ahead and start recording now. And uh, no reason not to take off. So let me get out of the way here. We're going to hit uh, take off on the app. Do an auto take off. Yeah, GeoZone flight restriction up 
fact, I mean, I that I looked at the, uh, I can tell you this, I've looked at the uh, sectional charts and there were no TFRs or anything here. So I think they're just talking about the, uh, this is the flyway for uh, the Boise Airport, but there were 10 miles from the airport here. So they're way up there. Uh, okay, let's uh, pick the drone up. Turn it around here a little bit. Get a good look at it. Let's bring it into the camera here a little. So you can, that obstacle avoids, you know, it's moving things around a lot. So you can see that as, as soon as I touch the stick, it's wanting to get out of the way. So let's move it back some. And, uh, and let's uh, circle around this and uh, I'm just trying to think of the location that we'll do our drony. I think it'll be the other direction. So I'm going to see if I can circle the drone around us here. And let me uh, bring it to the other side of the camera. Let me drop that gimbal down just a tad. I'm not good enough to, uh, to do the sticks and drop the gimbal at the same time. So I'll circle the drone around the other side. And we're on the uh, back side of the camera, so you're not going to see it on the GoPro, but uh, we'll stand here. And of course, the drone is looking into the sun, so that'll give you an idea of the uh, capabilities of the camera on this drone. Let's uh, let's do our drony right now, manual drony, reverse and up. And we're in normal mode. We're just going to cross the uh, street over there. And we will be out over uh, a, a, a construction area. So you can see where I'm at here. Let's get it up about 30 meters high. So you can see that this will give you a look at, uh, at Keith Bird Legacy Park here. It's not a very big park, uh, but I'm sure it's uh, convenient for the neighborhood here. And uh, and they get, uh, you know, they've got a play structure there and, a, you know, picnic area and a basketball court. So kind of handy for the neighborhood. Let's uh, let's move around here a little bit and take a look at the construction. So now you guys are going to remember this very recently uh, was just an open field. Let's uh, let's grab some altitude here and we'll look down on it. So this is a uh, it's a senior development. Uh, so 55 plus development and you know you can see they've really got these houses jammed in there uh, together pretty tight I'm not sure if that is uh, kind of how I would want to uh, want to live but you know whatever yeah so we are we're at max altitude right now so let's uh, we can uh, kind of look around here you can We'll go kind of go over the top of this, and we're not going to cross. That's uh, a that's Chinden Boulevard. You see that busy street off on the right hand side of the screen. We're not going to cross that, but uh, I do want to show you uh, this development. And and it, you know, you guys might remember a few years ago, or heck, not even that long, year and a half ago, I would have been flying drones from Heroes Park clear out to the corner of this, and it was just a farmer's field. So. This kind of gives you the big picture here of, uh, you know, what things are looking like here. It's just a beautiful sunny day. It really, uh, really just a kind of a perfect uh, fall day. Uh, we're at the end of October, almost into uh, November here. So, uh, so let's turn around and, and we'll, I'm going to do a slow yaw here so you guys can get a kind of a look at some of these other, uh, some of the other new developments here. And this stuff, you know, these are all houses that have gone in in the last couple of years. The growth here in what they call the Treasure Valley is just tremendous. And, of course, along with that, housing prices have skyrocketed, too. One of the things that I used to really be proud of and enjoy about this area was that it was so affordable, uh, but no longer so uh, that is the uh, that is the Costco. I, I keep calling it the new Costco, but uh, you know I don't I 
don't know if it's been open for a year, but it's been open probably for close to that. I'm trying to remember. I'd have to look back at my own videos to see, and that's me dropping altitude there. And we're not going to go over the top of that parking lot, but what we are going to do is uh, kind of uh, see if we can pivot around uh, to the in front of it here. And you can see that's just an open field in front, so we're going to stay over the top of that. And I got to tell you, the beauty of this drone is how precisely you can fly it. It is so easy to control. And it's so easy for just even a hack like me to get some really nice video uh, and, you know, control it well. So back into that classy airspace, like I said, we're right on the edge of the flyway for the, uh, for the Boise Airport. But uh, those aircraft are way higher than we are at this point. We're about 10 miles out from the airport. So pretty busy today at Costco. Uh, one of the things that I've liked about this particular Costco is that it hasn't been as busy as uh, as some of the other ones. So uh, you know, it's it's been kind of nice to be able to go in there and uh, not uh, be so crowded. So anyway, let's take a look over here. I do not want to go over the top. I'm not going to go over the top of any of these parking lots. Uh, you know, I was thinking it might be kind of cool to uh, to sneak across that way, but I'm not going to do that on second thought. Uh, all those cars down there, etc. So we'll go ahead and transit this road and come back the way we came. And again, what you're seeing there, what we're next to there on the right-hand side of the screen, that's called Chinden Boulevard, and that's a pretty busy uh, east-west street here in the Treasure Valley. And it looks like they've got a little room for some more houses here. Maybe we can kind of go behind uh, the Costco and see what they're doing over there, too. This drone, I mean, I'm telling you, I've been flying some other products and it's just such a pleasure to fly a drone that is so controllable. This thing is just so precise. It's, it's so easy to, to uh, put the drone right where, where you want it to be. So yeah, so you can see there's some more construction going over here. We can come over here on this side, uh, I think, without causing any grief. And, uh, and you can see uh, that there's some development uh, going on right there. And I don't know what kind of a retail establishment that's going to be, but uh, that, that's gone up just uh, very recently. And if we look across here, uh, that you guys should all recognize as uh, Heroes Park. I fly there quite often. I was thinking about going that direction, but I don't think there's a lot of point in that. We've uh, we've been there before. Uh, what we can do is go right across here, and uh, and go across towards uh, towards the uh, the mega mega Walmart and the pumpkin field on the other side. It is that time of the year, and boy, they've been digging up pumpkins like crazy. I saw them the other day out there, really uh, really digging up pumpkins. The other thing I'm going to say. <laughs> about this DJI drone is uh, this is a very challenging Wi-Fi environment here so this is a pumpkin field right here uh, but anyway challenging Wi-Fi environment and uh, you know not a blip the, the FPV is just perfectly smooth I'm, t I'm facing uh, the camera to record audio and I'm faced directly away from the drone the drone is behind me and it's making absolutely no difference in our uh, in our uh, control here and in our FPV feed. It's just perfectly smooth, and uh, it, it's just a joy to be flying this thing. Uh, so this, where we're heading now, is uh, that road is called McMillan Road, and we're not going to cross that, but. Uh, I can kind of show you where we're at here. So you guys, like I said, again, people that follow my channel have seen some of this before. 
but uh, but mostly I just was wanting to show the development. Well, speaking of development, but what we're looking at right there, that subdivision this spring was not there. <laughs> Or maybe it was last fall. Anyway, it hasn't taken long. That's less than a year old. And, you know, all those houses. And, and you know, you're looking at those fields off in the distance there. Uh, you know, those, I, I just, I'm sh quite sure those are all going to be developed into homes at some point. So, tons of growth here. It's changing uh, kind of this area from being kind of a rural ag-based economy to... Uh, something completely different and what, what I'll say about that is uh, I'm no NIMBY I mean I think that uh, you know I live here and I enjoy it here and uh, gosh if we have something to offer people and they want to move here I'm all for it and I know a lot of people don't feel that way I've been here for over 20 years and uh, yeah I mean I just think uh, it's it's a great place to live and and uh, you know more power to people that want to uh, come here and enjoy the same kind of lifestyle that uh, that's offered here because we're close to the mountains there's just so much here uh, now what we're looking at here is just kind of a neighborhood park that's by one of the subdivisions and uh, they got their own little pond there I don't know if they stock it with fish or, or anything but I can tell you one time I stopped in there I'm gonna kind of center on their uh, their little clubhouse there it looks like they got a pool there too uh, I've driven by there and I pulled into that parking lot one time with my Corvette and uh, that is a fancy little clubhouse there so I'm sure uh, they pay some homeowners dues to take care of that but uh, it's also pretty cool to have that park and all that right there and there again, you know, I look at this, uh, I look at this field right here, and I wonder, okay, how long is that going to be before that's uh, all turned into uh, homes? And where we're at is dead ahead there, so we just kind of made a big loop, and I'm in uh, uh, Keith Bird Legacy Park, straight ahead there, and uh, we'll uh, we're just going to go straight down this street. And bring it on in and I hear an aircraft but he is way off to the northeast of us and this drone does have ADS-B an ADS-B receiver on it which is handy and I don't see any so we're gonna drop we're gonna really start dropping some altitude here get down low I typically stay up high in a lot of these situations because, you know, you just don't want to bother anybody, uh, particularly when you're in an urban area like this. But again, what I want to emphasize here is that uh, is that we are, and the drone's just almost up directly above me now. I kind of wanted to give you guys, circle around here and kind of give you a look at the, uh, at, at their, at the little facilities that are at the park here. So let's kind of just do a, see if we can do a half circle around here. Uh, those restrooms right there, I can tell you, they keep them sparkling clean. It's you know, and I guess that kind of tells you why people want to move here, right? Uh, because uh, it's everything is uh, is well kept, and you know, you look at this park. If you see there, there's actually some exercise equipment there, uh, and I'm not going to go any further this way because uh, I don't know if there's any kids running around there or not, but. Uh, but what I was going to say is that exercise equipment often ends up being uh, kind of a play structure for kids, right? And uh, listen, I can relate. If you're a kid, you are you are so going to look at that stuff and you're going to want to try it out, right? So so I don't blame kids at all. But uh, but that's what that those that exercise equipment I know is designed for adults to come over and do their do their morning routine or whatever. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't typically doesn't uh, doesn't work out that way. So uh, you know, I promised you that maybe we would try something here. So I am gonna try uh, this drone. Let's drop some more altitude down. And this drone has uh, uh, in in focus track. It has spotlight mode, 
which is a handy little feature. And I'm going to see if I can spotlight on top of that uh, building right there. And no, I didn't get it. So I don't know. Let's, let me back it up. It's been a while since I've used this, so I may have done that wrong. Yeah, and I don't want to circle the object. That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to stay in spotlight and have it stay on top of it. I think I touched it again, and I think I, I messed it up. So we're going to move forward. Yeah, this is working, and it's and it's keeping the gimbal. Yeah, and see, now it gave us the spotlight there. And what it'll do is it'll keep the gimbal on that spot. So I'm just flying the drone. And the drone then is controlling the uh, the camera. So let's see what happens if we try and fly directly over the top of it. And yeah, see it's lowering the gimbal down. So I did it right in the first place. I just what happened was is when I touched it again. Yeah, so I'm holding the stick all the way forward and it won't do it. So let's go. Let me back up. And yeah, and it's going to pull away. And then I'm going to push the stick to my left. And what it'll do, I'm not touching the uh, right, or excuse me, the left stick at all. I'm just touching the uh, right stick. And there's a guy there, so we're going to, we're not going to go over the top. Let's back up here some more. Let's back up a ways. And then now I'm going to push my the right stick to my left. And it should do a point, perfect point of interest there and stay right on that point of interest that we, uh, that we spotted there. And I'll tell you where that's handy. Uh, you, if you have something that you're trying to keep track of and you just want to, uh, uh, you want to keep the camera on it and you want to focus on flying, this drone will do that for you. So... I hadn't done it in a while, so I made that mistake of, uh, of trying to, to uh, touch that spot again. But I'm going to move straight forward here, and let's see what happens. I saw where that guy was standing. So, yeah, so it just drops the camera down. Yeah, and so now let's, uh, let's see what happens if I go straight up. And then I'm going straight up, and I'm backing off. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's interesting. Okay, so let's uh, let's get out of that. Let's pick that camera back up, and you can see me right there. Let's, uh, yeah, it wants to do a return to home, so we're just gonna let it do it. Let's uh, let's just let it do its countdown here. Yeah, we're down to 18% uh, battery, so smart drone, huh? And this drone, you cannot yaw it while it's in uh, return to home like you can the Mini. And that's me dropping the camera down so you can see where we're at. And let's see if we get that precision landing. I'm willing to bet we will. This grass is short enough that I'll just let it mow the grass if we, uh, if we need to. Here she comes. Now I know this wasn't a terribly exciting flight, uh, but it was just too beautiful of a day not to fly. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of the way of the camera so you can see it land. Uh, but it was just too nice of a day not to fly and it'll automatically pick up the uh, Camera on the drone as it comes down. It's a little bit off. Oh, yeah now it's on it So I think we're gonna hit it just right uh, But it was just a nice day to fly and look at that we're right on the H so I'm gonna call that a win Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion Hey, okay, uh, the DJI Air 2S, uh, wow, uh, what, what an amazing piece of technology uh, this is. Uh, it's, just a, it's just such a pleasure to fly. And, and like I said, I've, I've been flying some other drones recently, and when you come back to a drone like this, you realize what it's all about and how things uh, should be. Uh, and this guy, definitely uh, epitomizes that uh, you know it's got that uh, you see that camera with that big one inch sensor and we were shooting in 4k 30 uh, you can shoot up to I think it's is it 5.2 or 5.3 anyway it's phenomenal uh, so you could go at even higher resolution but you saw on our whole flight we didn't have 
any kind of FPV stutter or dropout at all. Uh, we didn't have any kind of a connection issue. And this is a very challenging Wi-Fi environment. There's all kinds of Wi-Fi around here. This drone just does it perfectly. And that just means a lot. And, uh, and it's so precise. You can place that drone exactly where you want it uh, very easily. This is just by far the best drone that I've ever owned. We messed around a little bit uh, with spotlight mode here to demonstrate that. I kind of messed it up at first there because it's been a while since I've done it, but, but, uh, but we got it there and showed you how that works. And that can be really handy. If you want that camera to stay right on something, you can just focus on flying the drone and it'll keep that gimbal and camera right on whatever it is you're, uh, you're trying to look at. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, we gave you a look at the construction around here. It's really wild to me to see how fast everything has grown up. You know, I uh, have lived here for a while and I've been flying drones and kind of in this area. And what I, where I used to just fly over open fields is now full of development. And I know this whole area around here is gonna be just one solid development before too long. But I thought you guys would be interested in seeing some of the same things that I've seen. So, uh, enough jibber jabbering right i guess that's about it this is marcus crawford with the idaho quadcopter channel out and if you like this kind of content uh, i would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel and uh yeah thank you so much for taking your time out of the day to watch this video and of course we'll see you on the next one uh the dji air 2s or excuse, yeah air 2s I, I you get confused mavic air 2 air 2s this guy's the Air 2S. Uh, so, alrighty. We'll see you later. Bye now.